After almost six hours of discussion and voting, we now know all the people who will serve on Nashville's Community Oversight Board, the board that will investigate allegations of police misconduct. That's right, a huge task that Metro Council had, and they started voting at 6.30 last night. Right now, News 4's Bethany Reese is following this story for us this morning. Uh, Bethany, you talk about the range of diversity on the board. Um, so who all are we seeing that make up this new body? Yeah, hey, good morning, Desiree. Good morning, Holly. I tell you what, I've been sitting in the car out here looking at all these names that are on this board, and it's unbelievable the accolades that these people have. I just want to talk about a few of them for a second. First, let me say how many people we have. We have 11 people. We have six men, five women on this board. We have seven African Americans, three whites, one Latino. That's diversity alone in itself. But take a look at some of these names, and let's talk about them for just a second and compare the diversity here. First up, I just want to talk about one of those names that you're seeing seeing on your screen. That's Jamel Campbell Gooch. Now Jamel Campbell Gooch, he's a big activist in the area. He's an organizer who's active in the nonprofit social activist organization Gideon's Army. Then you have Adele Lewis, who's the deputy chief medical examiner for the Tennessee Department of Health. Now here's five other board members. This is Danita Marsh on here on your screen. She's a former Nashville police officer who was critically injured on duty and now works for the Nashville Conflict Resolution Center. Then you have Andres Martinez who works as a policy and communications director at the Latino nonprofit Canuxion Americas, whose goal is to create inclusiveness for Latino families. Take a look at to, take a listen to what some of these people are saying this morning about their duties on this board. Because I think this is an opportunity that our community gets a chance to build relationships that are not present right now. I think the first words that should come out of all of our mouths is fair and impartial, right? And so we shouldn't. Uh, carry any of that load with us that we, we hear or see on the media. This is an opportunity to really listen uh, to what the community needs. Now the accolades, like I said, go on and on for these 11 people. You can find a list of those on our News 4 app, but I got to say one of the biggest ones I was seeing was multiple police officers and someone who was once on the Barack Obama administration while he was president. Head over to our News 4 app if you want to learn more about those that made this board seats. Holly, Desiree, we back to you guys. All there, WSMV.com and the News 4 app. Thank you, Bethany. Lots of people are wondering what's next for the oversight board. So the board has to be fully operational operational by March 29th. That's according to the Nashville Amendment. Now, once everything is set up, they can then investigate allegations of misconduct by Metro Police. Earlier this month, State Speaker Glenn Cassida says he plans to take a look at Metro's oversight board. He said he wants to ensure that all oversight boards are the same across the state.